Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another cooking inspiration video. I love putting these snack ideas together and some of these things can also be considered a freezer prep. And you guys know I do tons of freezer prep here on my channel. So if you're new and you enjoy meal prep and freezer prep, definitely hit that subscribe button. So the first recipe that I'm putting together is some Italian skewers and I'm unrolling my Amazon Amazon prep map. I love this thing. It's so convenient. It kind of helps to keep the mess all in one area and it's easy to wipe off. And these little skewers are very, very simple and they are also keto friendly if you omit the pasta. So I always like to give you guys gluten friendly and keto friendly ideas along with family friendly ideas. These will be great for lunch boxes and really could be even an adult lunch that could be taken along and you won't even need to reheat it or anything. You can just grab it right out of the refrigerator and into your lunch box and go. So basically to put them together, I just cut the skewer sticks in half so they were a little bit smaller. They would also fit better in a lunchbox or storage container this way. And then I have some salami, some green olives, some tortellini, some um, grape tomatoes, and then I love these little uh, mozzarella bites. I forget exactly what they call them. I know sometimes we call them cheese curds. I put those right on there with the rest of it. Before we continue on, I wanna thank Bougie Bakes for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I love giving you gluten-free and keto-friendly options, and these definitely are. Everything Bougie Bakes makes and sells is gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, keto-friendly, non-GMO, and they also have vegan options as well. So this hits a lot of needs, and oh, they are so good. There is no baking required. Everything is baked in Los Angeles and then shipped and delivered fresh to your door. And these were very fresh. They had that out of the oven taste for sure. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick little taste test for you guys. But first of all, isn't this packaging just adorable? We have peanut butter cookie, chocolate chunk cookie, sugar-free sugar cookie, and double chocolate cookie. And honestly, just holding these up here, they smell so good. I can't wait to try them. Okay, so they're all amazing, like way beyond my expectations. I love them all so much. Um, I really love the sugar cookie and probably the double chocolate. Mmm, mmm. But they're all so great and I'm definitely gonna be snacking on them while I keep baking and cooking today. They're all super delicious, super moist, just like amazing like if you wanted a nighttime snack or something to go with your coffee in the morning either way these are just bomb also i need to go find a place to hide these so no one else finds them bougie bakes ships nationwide they taste amazing and seem to be too good to be true they taste like they should be bad for you but they're actually really really good for you their product offerings include cookies brownies blondies vegan mini muffins and much more so definitely check out the link in the description box to find out more about bougie bakes you will not regret it it's so delicious especially if it hits your eating lifestyle and I know that you will love them as much as I have been. All right, so this next recipe may actually be considered vintage. I am not sure, but it's apple salad. My mom made this growing up and it was one of my absolute favorites. So it kind of has a sweet and tart um, combination so you put some sour cream some mayo you chop up your apples and you could make this a little bit more low carb friendly if you used a swerve or another type of sweetener I did just go ahead and use regular sugar because my daughters were mainly going to be eating this and with fall coming on this is a great lunchbox option and it keeps well in the refrigerator also there is one ingredient that I forgot to add to this that I personally think is really good and that is mini marshmallows I bought them they were sitting in my cabinet and completely forgot to add them while I was filming this so that's another fun little flair especially if you are feeding this to your kiddos it may give them a little bit more motivation to eat up a lot of apples so you just dice up your apples to a good bite size and you can use any type of apple 
apples for this. I believe these were gala apples. And then you can add in things like nuts. I put in some um, pecans, I believe. And you can add dried fruit as well. You can really customize it to the way that you want it to be. And of course, this is very gluten-free friendly as well. All right, so I think I may have hit the jackpot, just maybe, but this is the first time I used this snack mix recipe. If you guys have watched my channel for a long time, you know that on occasion I do enjoy making snack mixes for my family. They're just really, really good, and that homemade snack mix taste you cannot get in the store. But this recipe, it's just like amped up by a hundred because you do use a ranch packet mix, you use butter, you use um, Worcestershire, I know everybody always corrects me on how I say that, Worcestershire sauce and you use a little bit of brown sugar. And a lot of times the mixes are either with the Worcestershire sauce or they're like a ranch mix, but this one just kind of loaded everything on and oh my goodness, we could not keep our fingers out of this mix. And I'm definitely going to be making it again. You'll see here in a little bit whenever I take it out of the oven, how it actually kind of made like a coating over everything to where I kind of had to break up the mix it almost made like a brittle <laughs> which really made all the seasonings stick super well to the mixture and like everything else I give you guys this could also be a gluten-free option if you got gluten-free pretzels if you got um, a lot of Chex Mix and gluten-free cheddar crackers it's really easy to customize it and you could even almost make it a low carb friendly option as well if you made it with nuts and things like that. But do keep in mind to watch your ingredients that are in ranch packet mixes and things like that because they do contain gluten, but you can get gluten free options. So I made the batch, I just made one batch and it really was better to separate it between two of my cookie sheets. So I went ahead and put it in the oven and let it bake up while I started into my next recipe. So this again is another great snack option slash lunchbox option and it is some veggie pinwheels. And this is, oh, I just love this. And of course you could make this gluten-free with just getting some gluten-free wraps. You could make this low carb by using either lettuce in place of the wraps or you could get low carb wraps if you are um, if that is included in your diet or your lifestyle either way it's very customizable along with the types of veggies that you put in it if you guys like veggie pizza which is one of my absolute favorite foods the flavor profile of this particular recipe is very much like veggie pizza but it's a lot more convenient and it's a good grab and go whenever you are needing something to throw in a lunchbox I opted to use the spinach wraps. I really, really like those. And um, it ended up making about four of them. They're pretty good size. And what you wanna do, just to kind of help everything combine well, hold together, all of that, is you want to roll them up and then roll them in either like a press and seal or a saran wrap and put them in your refrigerator for a couple of hours and that will help them to really hold together. And you could also store them that way in the refrigerator and cut them up as you need them. So next, my snack mix was out of the oven. And like you can see here, it's like in big chunks and I'm kind of breaking it up. But this is a recipe that I am going to keep for a long time. This is something that's even nice to make around the holidays to give to other people. Just because since it does have that delicious butter in there, it's not something that's really shelf stable for a long time. So it's a good treat to have on hand. And I did put one of these bags into the freezer 
for kind of saving um, to preserve it a little bit longer. So once you pull the rolls of the wraps out of the refrigerator, you can just slice them up like this. These are also super delicious to dip into salsa. Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to make up was some cookie dough for the freezer. These are not healthy. They don't have a healthy option, but I do think you could make them gluten-free. <laughs> but we have a lot coming up. We're planning to um, go on vacation for a little bit and just have some other things that we are gonna be doing in the next little while. And I thought it would be nice to have some cookie dough in the freezer so that I can pull them out and just stick these scoops onto the cookie tray and stick them in the oven and bake them up really quickly. It's also a nice thing to have on hand if you're going to have friends over or if you're taking a meal to someone and you don't wanna take a bunch of time to make a dessert, fresh baked chocolate chip cookies, I don't think anyone can ever turn down. And this recipe in particular is a style that has the instant pudding mix in it, which personally I think makes one of the best types of chocolate chip cookies. Their texture is just perfect. So to freeze these, all you have to do is scoop them up and you don't need to separate them as far as having them um, a certain distance apart on the cookie sheet since they're not baking, you're just freezing them. You just wanna make sure they're not touching at least. And you stick the whole cookie sheet into the freezer until they're frozen solid. Then you take them out and throw all your scoops into a Ziploc bag and you can put them in the freezer and these will store a long time. I did make a double batch this day, but you could even make more than that, triple it, do whatever you wanna do for your size family. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video gave you a lot of inspiration. Let me know in the comments which idea you liked the best. That always helps me out. And don't forget to check out the links in the description box. And I will see you guys in my next video. It's going to be a freezer prep. And I'm really excited to share with you a bunch of new recipe ideas.